Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brianna Vasquez, and today is Fabric Chat. <laughs> here so I'm not gonna you know not gonna mess. rock the boat no nope. because the quilt that's in front of her is Shh. the infamous noodles oh. <laughs> everybody thought that was so funny <laughs> like, she was getting mad not a good uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, advertisement for our little noodle <laughs> quilt here if you uh, missed last week <laughs> she was fighting with the noodles <laughs> that little fringe bits that are on here but she couldn't get them she could not take them away from the quilt and was not happy. She was on the losing end. No. So on the pattern when it says, great for kids quilts, uh, that, it's a total lie. Um, apparently the they've got to be like two and up. <laughs> if you're six months, uh, it's iffy. It's not not a good thing. Not a good thing. She seems kind of sleepy today. I think she is. I mean, this morning I woke her up. She was dead asleep. And I gave her, she was the last one because I went from her crib to the car seat into the car. And then when we got to work, we were awake. We had filled our diaper all fully, all nice. the way. We cleaned it up, put some real clothes on, and here we are. All of Brianna's sisters in law um, do not like her. I'm not on the front. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. Brianna has had three babies now that all sleep through the night almost immediately. Yeah. No colicky, no anything. She's been. Uh, it's you been really nice, but I, I don't have to move it up here. <laughs> but um, the other, the other thing though that I think, and Pa and I say this all the time, Brianna is so calm. You yeah. are just such an even keeled, you know, don't get mad about anything, don't get excited about anything. And I think that mm -hmm. hormonally, whatever is happening in you that did not happen to me, <laughs> <laughs> it's working on your kids. It's working good. Yay! But yeah. since I made you, I, I gave you all of the good all the hormones. Good. And I kept, I kept the angry ones. <laughs> That's yeah, not true. they're not pretty. Angry. They're pretty chill. Um, they don't get worked up about much. Yeah, yeah. That's Wyatt it is our super sensitive, super kind, sweet little soul. Harper is the one who's gonna rile them buttons. She's gonna be the president. Ruffle those feathers. Get a reaction. And I keep trying to tell White, and I don't know if he understands. Because she is someone who will poke, 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 and then he will react in a way that gets him into trouble. And then she goes, what? Oh my gosh, I'm so okay. sorry. Okay, wow. she is my granddaughter. Yeah, I mean, she, <laughs> she's like, and it's like, Wyatt. So I understand what she was doing, and I'm going to make her get a timeout, but it's not, doesn't justify a spanking, doesn't justify having to, you know, be in her room the rest of the night. I said, or getting something taken away, yeah. you know, it's because of the way you reacted. I said, what you need to do, and the weird thing is, I think there's something going on maybe in school that they kind of do the whole no tattling thing maybe, but I, I don't know, because he seems to, well, I can't, I say, well, you need to tell me, and I know Robert hates the whole tattling thing, and there are certain things that do not matter. Oh, well, she looked at me funny. Oh, she, She's um, touching me. Yeah, she that took my, my shoe. Chair. Yeah. I mean, those things, I don't care about those. But if she is just, you know, pushing them buttons, pushing them buttons, repeating the same thing, or just, I mean, I can hear most Trying of it. Trying to get a reaction, yeah. which is what I, she's doing. I want to know that, you know, and that kind of thing. And you just have to come tell me. I will separate you two. Take her with me. Go do something or whatever. But I said, the moment you hit her, you throw something at her, I said, who do you think is in trouble? Right. Well, okay, right. yeah, I mean, because she was just using words to provoke you to throw something. Mm -hmm. So we've been working on that because Harper is very, very good at that. And I'm not exactly sure, um, I don't know how to stop it. I don't know. I'm, I'm stumped by that one. She'll, she'll stop it soon enough. And I think if you remember, I mean, you weren't the Harper, but, but Jordan was the Wyatt. And yeah. we used to tell Jordan all the time that, um, uh, why does a dog chase a cat? Because it runs. Because it runs. Right. And if that cat turned around and said, not today, then the dog wouldn't chase it. And, and that's what has to happen is why it needs to just right. shut that down. And that's what I kept telling and, you. The less he reacts, if you the less he rea her. Yeah, it won't be fun. It right. won't. But I think that everybody needs to, everybody needs to learn that lesson. And somebody is going to teach Harper a lesson. Yeah. It won't be her sweet brother. No. But somebody's going to. Maybe it'll be me. But she's just she's just super smart and super bored and it's something fun to do. You know, mm -hmm. I think that everybody Rob, did yeah. that. I think I've told you before that 
remember that Ronnie, my older brother Ronnie and I used to act like we were talking French around our little brother. <laughs> and so we would say, you know, something weird mm -hmm. and then we'd say Robbie. And then we'd say, Mom, Mom, they're talking about me in French. And Mom's saying, oh, no, they don't no, know no, French. I and then we would do it again. Apparently, mom does you know, and he would just get <laughs> <laughs> he would just get crazy, which made it so much fun. Right. Yeah. Because he'd be crazy all day long. He'd be mad. And all we'd have to say is one word. We oui, we. Oui. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> it's real easy to talk French. You just you, know, you just move your lips move a little lips. bit. And you know, and he totally believed it. And it was the most fun. We would rather do that than do anything outside. <laughs> Because yeah. we just loved that, you know, explosive thing. So anyway, yeah. so I get it, Harper. Mm -hmm. Poor Wyatt. Right. He'll oh. figure it out. He'll get there. But he's just too sweet, you know. He's and adorable. the saddest thing is he he loves his sister. He's I think you guys have heard me say it. he's he's too good for her. Sometimes both me and Robert, he's too good for us. But he will, um, you know. So they'll get in trouble for skiffing or whatever, and Wyatt will find like, okay, fine, I'll play with you, with what you want to play with, because now Harper cannot color with him for five until the timer goes off or whatever, and so Wyatt has to like, no, 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 Wyatt, you will go do something else. You cannot play with her for five minutes. You guys are on a timeout from each other. Go do some separate things, and it's like horrible for him. I know. Well, no, she just wants to play. I don't want to make her cry. I don't want her to get in trouble. I know. It's like, honey, she needs to get in trouble. She's a big girl. She <laughs> she can handle it. Yeah. Jordan and Jared used to fight, and we used to remember we used to make them hold hands. Yeah. Now you're gonna sit and you're gonna hold okay. hands and love each other. I'm gonna get one of them, you know, love yeah. each other t-shirts. And then it'd be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, mother of uh, children. <laughs> Never know. It's fine. Yeah. But at least they both love Mace. They do. They would do everything to right? protect her, and they uh, try to make her laugh. Yeah, she giggles so much for she them. She giggles though. a lot. And I think that's funny because Robert will try to get her to giggle and do funny things. And no, she's just judgy with him. So. Nothing. But then the moment they look at Wyatt and he like stick his tongue out, oh, it's so funny. Giggle, giggle, giggle. And Robert's like, I just stuck my tongue out at her. I, like, I don't know. Apparently, it's <laughs> not yeah, nearly as funny. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, don't do it. Don't do that. Yeah. No. But yeah, she thinks so that you're funny. Yeah. Funny, funny. Well, Kind of funny the whole talk about uh, Wyatt and Harper because it's sort of so. One thing to mention is that yesterday was National Cynthia Day. Oh, by your Cynthia's? Dad forgot. I didn't get anything. Oh. Off the Murder Mother's calendar. <laughs> I, right. I should text them. It's National Cynthia National Day. National Cynthia Day. And remember, it's not Ma, it is actually it's Cynthia. Ma. That's her real name. Uh, <laughs> and then. Today was, um, I don't remember, today wasn't anything super fun. I can't remember. I thought I would remember. But here's the thing that I think is kind of funny, is that tomorrow is National Karen Day. National Karen Day. And what's kind of funny is that although all of us have really loved ah. the name Karen, isn't it funny that now that has a whole new meaning? I know, which is why I wonder why. How I don't know. Happen? I don't know who started that because it was weird. I think I told you guys the story. I was talking to somebody, and 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 now what, what I was talking about was something like perfectly normal. It was where he was parking, you know, which was like a super bad. It was a big semi that was parked right in front of the event center. It's like, oh, you know, the parking spot is down there. It's where you're supposed to go. And he kept saying, "Is your name Karen?" And I said, "No, huh? no, my name is Cindy." Oh, but yeah, your name is Karen. You're Karen. <gasps> And I, I said, like, no, yeah. and I said, no, no, I don't know who you mean. No, people lived here before me. Her name wasn't Karen either. And I totally didn't get it. Totally had no idea what he was talking about. And then I realized, like, long afterwards, It probably what he annoyed meant. him that you it didn't probably did get annoy it. him. Yeah, I was probably the Wyatt, and he was the Harper. And he's like, I don't even know what you're talking about. And I wasn't even being mean, but... Really? Mom. What story are you telling? I know. There's I a sock split. covering your foot. It's just... She's not like it. Kitty, I'll oh. sock on. Yeah. Oh, wait, maybe I'll take this one off. Do you like the coat behind me? Ooh. I got some dogs. Intrigued? <laughs> yeah, let me hold on. The wrong foot. This one is naked. <laughs> anyway, so tomorrow is National Karen Day. And it's also Name Your Poison Day. <gasps> Name Your Poison. 
I feel like that is kind of the same. Yeah, kind you know? of the same. I mean, for all of you Karens out there, or are you Karen <laughs> wannabes? Name your poison. I don't know. Pick Name your, your poison. Fight. Pick your fight. So, um, <clears throat> and so here's the funny thing about that is that uh, I have kind of a story to tell. And I don't normally do this, but I, when I get to the end, you're going to know why I have to tell you this story. But um, we've been doing YouTube now for three years, three. two and a half, three yeah. years. Probably three. Probably three years. And it's really important to us to always be positive. You know, we don't talk about any of the natural disasters. We don't talk about any of the icky mm -hmm. stuff in the news. We feel like you get enough of that, and we're just not going to go there. I think it's fun for you guys to be here, and we just need to laugh about whatever. Laugh about Nana stuff, and mom stuff, <laughs> and baby stuff, and, and that's what friends do. But <clears throat> I just have to say that every once in a while, you kind of need to, like, get your coffee, stand up back by the back fence, and we need to talk about something that I kind of want to share. And the reason that I want to share it is because for those of you that are local, Brianna's looking at me like, what? What is happening? What is happening right now? For those of you guys that are local, you're going to come in the store and you're going to know that something weird is happening. And so, oh. <laughs> so I think you need to know what the story is and what's happening. So, um, so here, so first I need to give you, and keep in mind, tomorrow is National Karen Day. Um, and I should apologize to my Karen friends, but but for I, I suppose if you're Karen, do you hate that? You would, wouldn't you? I probably would. Yeah, probably. I wouldn't like it that my name is associated with mean. An adjective. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna forget that part. Yeah. Let me know. Let me know because I would think that I would. I think I wouldn't like that. Anyways, so. A little context first. So 25 years ago, Brian and I uh, bought this building. We bought this building specifically for, because um, um, I wanted a long arm machine. And we wanted to open kind of a tiny little quilt shop, mostly with the idea of you. my friends would come and use the long arm machine. We were really only going to sell backings mm -hmm. and battings and maybe be open a couple of days a week and have a great big classroom. And that was kind of all we were really going to do. Because before then... Mom would kick all the boys out, mm -hmm. set up, move all of the living room furniture, set mm -hmm. up tables, and, you know, aunts and friends would come over and would sew for the day. Yes. So it was either dad loses furniture and a dining room table or yes. mama needs building. a gift. <laughs> yes. And so it worked out really well. And so what we did, we remodeled the whole thing. Um, got it, it used to be an a auto, auto body shop. So gutted the inside, put up walls. Um, fix everything up. It was four different units and up on top of the roof we put four great big humongous expensive, um, I think they were um, $14,000 each, these big um, air conditioning units up on the top of the roof. <clears throat> and um, had renters, you know, through the years that came and went and as they were going what happened is we would sort of absorb their spot <laughs> so for a while it was like you had to walk past um the polos your foundation to get to the classroom or to get to something else and so things were a little bit weird so now our last um surviving uh um uh rental renter is edward d jones is in the building with us and um they have about a fourth of the building so they have about oh, 1,500 square feet. Uh, we pay Water City garbage uh, for them, and they pay $1,300 a month rent. That is an important thing to know. So anyway, um, over the 25 years, Brian's looking at me like, what are you talking um, about? What's happening? Where's this going? Where's this going? We're all friends, having coffee. Yeah. Hey. Just chatting. Chatting. So what happens is over the last 25 years, we have maintained a little bit, but there's things that have to happen now. It's been 25 years. The bathrooms need to be remodeled pretty seriously. Okay. There's some wallpaper on the walls. <laughs> it's pretty though. The whole thing needs to be painted. The sidewalk, um, the city forces in our state, in our county, we have to pay because we're the property owners to repair the sidewalks that actually belong to the city. Um, 
our asphalt parking lot in the back has a great big hole needs to be repaired and resurfaced that is that is nine thousand dollars asphalt though. is so much right nine thousand dollars to do that the roof needs to be replaced it's a flat roof it leaks all the time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is forty thousand dollars and on top of all of that um one of the air conditioning units has failed um to replace it now is thirty five thousand dollars plus the rental of a crane mm -hmm. to get it up there and get the old one down well if you've been doing the math i ain't got that money i i don't <laughs> i don't have 10 percent of that money <laughs> and so in talking with rob um we uh we had a different plan and what was going to happen. And a lot of it, too, is that the air conditioning over there, he has this great big huge server, I guess is what it is. So there's something that he has that's in there that puts off a lot of heat. Um, and so we sort of knew that in the summer it was going to be a problem with the air conditioning. So what was going to happen was we then entered into a different contract to do something a little bit different, and Rob was going to look for a spot and was going to move out. Well, that was fine. And, and that was so, a long time ago you guys talked about it. That was in yeah. November. It was a long time ago yeah. that we first talked about it. So that meant that I then, you know, believed that this was going to happen. They were looking, we, you know, talked about it again in January, talked about it again in February. And in February, it was very clear that there's not a lot of business property to rent because our building is right on the main drive. Um, commercial property and so and they're thirteen hundred dollars a month to get a, sp a place that is smaller <laughs> that needs more work was going to be four thousand dollars a month Oof. well probably i think so i, I mean, mean they're yeah i think so i mean housing rentals are more than thirteen hundred dollars a month yeah it's crazy what they're paying is super super yeah. nuts so anyway so I don't know if it was Rob or Rob says that Edward D. Jones, you know, is in contract with a leasing company and they decide everything. But I also know the leasing company is in Missouri. So what they know about what's happening here comes from us here. And I mean, from Rob. Yeah. So, um, so I don't know what to believe, but here's what I know is that they're not leaving. They're not moving out, which I guess is okay. The truth is we have a lease with them. Uh, we both signed the lease that they pay thirteen hundred dollars a month until December of next year. Mm -hmm. So by law they don't have to leave. Right. The fact that they said they were going to and I now am out earnest money on something different doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> um, but now here's where it gets a little bit grab your coffee girls because we're by the ball thing. Um, <laughs> They are demanding that we do something about the air conditioner. Um, there is two air conditioning units in there. Now they're both portable standing units, but mm -hmm. who gets to define what an air conditioner is? Because, because to buy a great big huge unit and a crane rental is $10,000 yeah. for $1,300 a month when we're not going to need that unit after they move out because... They've got this heat blasting thing that's happening. Right. So anyway, um, so we keep trying to kind of, I email back and forth and I'm emailing back and forth with this Jason and Rob and our attorney is involved in it. But um, anyway, um, we're sort of at a standstill now. Uh, we have ordered the part, $3,000 for a part to see if just we a, can yeah, it might be repair. I heard that part. We don't even know. So that's money, $3,000 plus $800 ah, for a service ah, call that may ah, not even work. Ah, um, and so then I'm still going to have to buy a new one um, because, because according to ah, Edward D. Jones, I am in violation of their lease because the lease said that I was supposed to provide air conditioning. And apparently the little portable air conditioning unit ah, and the fan... They, they get to determine that that is not air conditioning. I know that's not right, right? Especially if you're... Oh, hey. Even it's making the baby cry. It's making the baby cry. But it's not your fault that the part isn't in for the AC unit. Nope. So here's what I'm going to do. I know, right? You guys feel the same way, right? 
isn't that nice? It's not nice. It's not nice. That's not nice. It's I mean, they're paying a Pennies. third of what they should be paying anyway. The, I have paid for that part. That part is, it is for an archaic 25 year old unit. It has to come from the factory. And so we're just waiting for it to get here. But in the meantime, you know, I don't know what is supposed to happen. Either they're going to buy a unit and then they take it out of the rent and out of whatever or whatever. But at this point, um, um, because I'm in violation of the lease by not providing what they, I guess, think is appropriate air conditioning. One other piece I'm going to mention is that we don't even have the air conditioning on. The other three quarters of the building that we have, we don't even have our air conditioning on. Yeah. It's not that hot here. It's hot in their unit. It is hot. I'm going to admit that. But I it's think because of their big server. server thing that they have. I don't know what that thing is, but it blasts heat. Mm -hmm. So, sorry. But anyway, so here's what I'm going to do. And this is why, so so there's, there's three reasons to tell you this. Number one, we're friends. And friends are here to support friends. So that's the one thing I'm going to tell you. The second thing is that Tomorrow's National Karen Day, and it's Name Your Poison Day. I feel like that's <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> I have the poison. And number three, if you're local and you come into the shop, normally when you come into our shop, you hear Positive Life Radio. Oh, no. <laughs> I know where this is going. <laughs> Soft Pop Radio, something nice. I have an, I love the idea of music therapy and I have my workout playlist, I have sure. my walking pay playlist, I have my gardening playlist, I have my cleaning playlist. I now have my, um, get out playlist, my, <laughs> my at work playlist and it is Kanye West. Oh, well, wow. I mean, he had some good music. Maybe. I, I love it. I like it. So when you come into the shop, you're going to hear loudly. So is it is it is it Rob's decision to stay or go? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. Well, I don't know. There's three Edward Jones in Ephrata, so why? There's three. We have a town that's a population of 7,500 people. There are three offices. And what he told me is that if he couldn't find a place, he would just move in with Bonnie. Yeah, why not? I don't know why not. Interesting. I, I don't know. I don't know why, and I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to do my Margot, you know, let the whole thing go. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to play music that makes me happy, loudly. And that's Thank what you. I'm going to do. And I'm just going to let it go because, you know, for 30, well, let's see, let me do the math here. I'm out, I'm out the earnest money. I'm out the $3,000 part that's not going to work. I'm out um, the cost of the new air conditioning unit that I'm going to have to buy and the crane. So for $70,000, I can listen to Kanye West loudly yeah. in my shop. And here's the other really nice thing about that. Since I'm already, in, I mean, I don't think that listening to music and my choice of music would be a violation of a lease. I mean, that's not in the contract. So. Yeah. But they're not paying me anyway. Right. So, I don't know that it matters. So anyway, if you come in the store, we're rocking out. <laughs> That's what you're going to hear. And you might not even notice. If you, you might not even notice. You may not even notice. You might just wonder, hmm, who chose the music today? I did. <laughs> and it's going to be loud. So anyway, so, um, so, uh, uh, thank you for listening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at you. Ah, Her face is red thinking. Oh. Oh, you no. know, this is the whole thing is I think nobody in our family, we don't like conflict. None of us do. No. That is something, I think it's just a, I think it's a DNA. Look at her. Are you, you looking at Nana? Who are you looking at? Are you looking at Nana? She's like, None of us like like conflict. I don't at all. I will totally give up. I, I nope, not gonna. And uh, Brian doesn't. Pa doesn't. Mm -hmm. In fact, he won't play games um, 
with us or anybody in my family because it gets a little too competitive for him. <laughs> and, you know, and, and the boys and you. I mean, it, every, no, none of us it. like conflict. We're not going to fight with you about anything. It doesn't matter. We've mm -hmm. never had, you know, neighbor conflict. We've never had, yeah. you know, it just, it totally doesn't matter. Just, I mean, I can't even think of an example. Mm -hmm. So it is kind of weird, something like this, where there's, you know, a professional relationship with somebody that I thought was a friend, Yeah. you know, and, and I think it's kind of hard because it's, it's, it, it's a humongous financial, um, right. I mean, I don't even know how I'm going to pay for it. Right. I mean, we're happy to, we donate a lot of money. We do a lot of fundraisers. We do things that, you know, and you guys help us do that. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we write checks for that kind of stuff, but, but, you know, for, if we're matching money, but, but mm -hmm. that's a lot to, have you um, asked, have you asked, I, this is me not knowing, but can you like buy them out of their contract and just say, you can just leave now? Is that a thing? Well, okay. Yes. Uh, no. Uh, what Jason said was that for them to retrofit another facility for them, it cost them $100,000. Okay, I think he just pulled that out of the sky. I don't know. Um, but what did they do during COVID? I mean, everyone was shut down. Because investment isn't, um, you know... Well, investment, but I mean, I mean, I don't know. He's hardly ever even in there. Right. And so there's hardly ever home? even... a. a a customer that comes in because almost everything is done online. It's electronic. I don't know why he needs 1,500 square feet. So I suppose it's for the servers and for the security, but I think you're right. Why can't he work at home? I don't right. think anything would change, but you know, so that's why I think, you know, Rob wants to say it's all Jason, but mm. Mm, try to save face. Yeah. It's hard. It's a small town. Yeah. You know, so, and Rob is a nice guy. I think yeah. he's a nice guy, but I think that, you know, and I think he doesn't like conflict either. No. But so he has to decide, is he going to have conflict with ah. Jason who, which, which, why does he get to decide? Right. Or conflict with me? Well, he'll just channel his, you know, inner Kanye too. Inner Kanye too, maybe make him feel better. Maybe. So anyway, so I wish we had something super positive and fun to talk about. What else? What can we talk about? This super we got about Tracy's show. Oh, Tracy's show. Oh my gosh. You know, um, what was really nice about that, it was shouldered. There were so many people. That's what people. she was saying. It was super tight. I've never seen so many people in that teeny tiny little <laughs> art studio. Before. We were totally spilling out into the street. I tried to do a video. I took a video of it, of all of the people, all of the cars and went in and I didn't have sound. And then it of course shut off because I think if you're doing a live video or what, cause I was trying to do it live on Facebook and I think it shut off after two minutes maybe. I have no idea. For some reason the video stopped videoing and I did not have sound. So I have a few pictures, but anyway. I can see if I can pull that video offline and show you guys. I mean, it'll not have sound, but you'll at least see. Oh yeah, see it the was, crowd. It That's was good. really, really nice. It was really fun, and because what I had shown in the video was that um, it was Tracy's art, and then also the college students um, yeah. participated. There was nine college students um, from an art class, and their pieces had to be made entirely out of garbage. Yeah. It was pretty awesome. It was really, really nice. So yeah. It That's was cool. super fun. She sold all but, um, I think she has one piece left. I think one piece. Left. One piece. Uh, I don't so even know which one it was. Is. I don't remember what she told me. Maybe she'll tell us tonight. They sold pretty quickly. But yeah, yeah there's. And I don't know, I assume Deb has listened to all of her messages. Deb's phone was ringing, 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 ringing. If you were somebody who called her, and uh, there was too many people. She couldn't answer the phone because I think we did that video and said, oh, if you call at six, oh, no. She people, was, she, she opened the doors early. Did you know that? Oh, did she? Yeah, she should not have. But she, she, was, she was inundated with people because um, we got down there about five minutes to six with Tracy. We had Tracy with us thinking, ah, we're going to get in early. And there was already massive people there. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, really popular. Well, Tracy yeah. is so loved. In Soap Lake. She really is. Well, and, you know, and the pe we had um, Janelle and Jerry from Ording, Washington, which That's is like so cool. two, two and a half hours away. They drove over and spent the night to be able to make sure to be there. So, um, so yeah, so a lot of people from out of town and... What? Sleepy, hungry. I think we got a little jumbled mixture of goodness going on. At least she got... Oh, no, she didn't get the other sock off. 
No, she's been looking at it though. Thinking, why is that there? She likes that. That's soothing. Yeah, her show um, was it pretty was, awesome. Was so awesome, and the retreat was equally oh fun. Oh my gosh, the fabulous retreat. group of ladies. Yeah, really nice. I mean, I think well, and the bad news is that so she's going to do it again next year, and it's going to be the same weekend. It'll be the weekend after Memorial Day weekend. We decided to keep the the group small. I mean, it was small this time, and I think that's really important. Um, because um, of our, you know, because of the amount tables. of space and stuff, mm -hmm. um, and I think everybody is coming back. Oh, good. And then the gal that came over from Ording, Janelle, I think she wants to come, and Sherry Hansen wants to come. So uh -huh. I kind of think that we're the bad news is I think we're already full. full. But um, that reminds me, um, so many of them came and did the box <coughs> opening with us on uh, Sunday, mm -hmm. and. Every single one of them said, oh my gosh, when you introduced me, I was going to say thank you. And they all, you know, they get a little nervous. <laughs> but all of them wanted to make sure that you guys knew, and we'll probably mention it again tonight, um, wanted to make sure that you knew that they just felt the love from all of this stuff. You know, having, yeah. we have some pictures. We'll put some pictures in afterwards of how it was all kind of set up and awesome. and what was going on. But, but all of the boxes of jewelry and findings and feathers and shells and rocks and all of that stuff it they loved it it was kind of fun because the way that we had it set up is that they were like surrounded in love from all of you guys and the stuff that they made was oh my gosh just off the charts amazing so um so so they wanted to make sure that we were going to thank you and say that they really appreciated it and they thought that it was um Super yeah. nice, and Good. so um, so as you're cleaning out your junk drawers, <laughs> <laughs> keep on sending. Keep on sending. <laughs> That's cool. So, um, but yeah, it was really fun, and um, and and maybe I I'm not supposed to mention this, but you know, this is a a day to break rules. But um, Tracy's already working on her next show. Yes. Which we know the title of it. It's going to be Peanut Butter and Honey. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole reason there's a good why. Little story with oh it. my gosh! And she's already. Did you know she's already started? Is she? Oh, good. She's already started creating those pieces. She got some really good. What does she call it? Junk teaking. What does she call it? Junk teaking is yeah. when you go um, to a uh, secondhand store and buy something. She actually. Uh, it was a yeah scrap haul <laughs> scavenged in the woods for this stuff yeah. so um so the story is right. it is fun um but her artwork is going to be just amazing she's got uh, some big pieces and so cool i'm super excited for that so we're already um she's working on that she is um i think she's going to do four tens take off a day oh, in the middle of the week um, do some art. That's um, good. Yeah, so that she really is spending three days a week working on her art. Um, it's nice that she's um, ba um, back in it. As she's kind of unlocked this, um, her little block that she had for a bit. So Good. Yeah, good, good. really exciting, really fun. So anyway. All right. Yes, um, she's like watching me. I'm wrestling no. with noodles. Can you get them? I know. I shouldn't even be touching those. Look at them. What are you looking at? She's looking at them. Looking Nana. at Nana. Say hi. We have. I can't see it because it's. You know. I mean, even in real life, it's this big, but it's a ways away. But there's a screen next to the uh, camera that has us, so Brianna can tell if we're, you know, both in the shot or whatever. And um, I think that's what she's looking I think at. She can. I see think it. that sometimes in box opening, that's what she's looking at, wondering. <laughs> they're like, no, Nana. They're looking at me. I'm smiling and waving. I know it's funny because people will say that. Oh, she was looking right in the camera. <laughs> and oh my gosh, what I need to mention is everybody says they can hear her say Nana. Other Nanas oh, good. know what they're they hearing. Heard it. They can interpret. We know you can. Yes, that's what she's saying all the it time. It makes you wonder if she's going to call you something else. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? All right. Okay, anything else weird? Let's see, what's behind us? Um, this is two by four. Um, we've had a few kits the last couple weeks. You've probably seen those. Um, this made just made out of Halloween fabric. 
So we've had some Halloween and Christmas stuff coming in, but it's a super simple. Um, we cut it up in the in the shop with 11, 11 inch strips. So you can cut them into 10 inch squares, 10 by 20 and a half inch pieces to create those larger rectangles. Um, just a fun way to kind of use up some of your scraps, use up some fat quarters even. If you were doing this out of your own stash, you could get away with cutting just a 10 inch strip. Right. But yeah, we made them a little bit bigger um, in case there's something else you want to do because um, this is a, a, t a 10 inch square, a 10 inch square, and this is 10 by 20 or 19 and a half because then this is the block. It's just this great big huge two by four mm -hmm. um, um, just to make a great big block and then you turn them however you want to. So it is sinfully fast mm -hmm. so 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 fast so if you just have a stash with some fun stuff um, if you're buying third yard cuts or <laughs> you trying to get your toes <laughs> what is that man oh it's that quilt and a binky <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you getting hungry? Okay. Alright. And I think we're done. I have it! We're gonna no, go we're feed not. her. Are we gonna go feed you? Eat some breakfast? Yeah. We think that she's allergic to strawberries. Yeah. Was it Friday I went out to the retreat? Friday night? And um, Thursday night I had given her some strawberries, put them in one of those little, like, silicone binky things that have the little holes in them um and she had little redness around her eyes and little like um looks like you know sleep bags under her eyes and so i think she would be strawberries yeah we'll give a little only, while you're only longer. giving her you're just slowly introducing just fruits and vegetables yeah just pureed fruits and vegetables while i'm doing um and so and then i was doing just because our strawberry patch is just vivacious and growing a bunch and so we were all eating some so well, maybe she wants to try a real homegrown strawberry so I washed it up really good and gave her one and yeah I don't think I don't think she liked it I mean she liked it I mean but, it was not to like ah uh, but I don't know so we'll try a little bit later we'll try again and see if that's what it was or if maybe there was something in the air I don't know but that's all she did is she just had the little darkness under her eyes that resembles there was some sort of irritation but Nothing else. Didn't get itchy. Didn't have a bad diaper. Didn't anything like that. So I know. I know. Give me that. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna do box opening tonight, and yeah. later tonight after dinner is the start of our flower garden retreat. 24 women from everywhere. We've got one local gal, Judy, is from uh, Quincy, and Gina is from Yakima. The but everyone else, world. oh my gosh. California, Utah, Michigan, mm -hmm. Florida, Alaska, Alaska, Colorado. Yeah, all over. It's awesome. Um, Ontario, Hawaii, Hawaii. Where was you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear any of us say anything. <laughs> and they don't care. <laughs> anyway, that starts tonight. Hopefully you'll meet some of those guys on Sunday. But yeah. And we'll show you pictures. And All right. So afterwards, we're going to put in some pictures of um, Tracy's. Yeah. I'll try to, and I'll try to get that soundless footage for you guys so you can see the crowd. All right. All right. It was so good. All right. See Have you guys tonight. Day. Bye. Bye. Well, we're here at... Fire on Main for Tracy's art opening, and I have never seen so many people in this gallery before. There's just, in fact, it's like standing room only in there, so we've spilled out onto the street. We have people here as, from as far away as Ording, um, some from Spokane, and lots of locals. All over here, there's food out here. We've got music, there's food in the hot shop over there, if you can see it. And then, and this is Deb, our uh, proprietor here at the gallery. <coughs> and sorry. And then if you come in here, you can see most of her pieces have already sold. 
professional thing, sorry. The other thing that's in here is we have some of the college students that have participated, and they have made art pieces entirely out of garbage. So there's that whole idea, too, of what Tracy kind of has been doing. More pieces sold, 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 sold. I think that right now at this moment there's one piece left. There's some of the, some more of the college student pieces in there. And then here's a couple more. They had to make them entirely out of garbage. And then this one is the unicorn. Anyway, I don't know where Tracy, oh, there she is, greeting her public. Hi, ah, wave. <laughs> Oh, that's the girl that is impressed. We're super impressed. Beautiful job. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.